We, we now celebrate it for a month or longer each year. One of the favorite sports at Forest Park is gymnastics. We have two teachers to help us learn the skill skills and we have two classes a week after school. Our gym gives us plenty of room for the sport and we also have nice new equipment to practice on. One year gymnastics was so popular that the teachers had to ask some of the older students to help teach the younger gymnasts. At Forest Park we flip over gymnastics. With more stories about our school, here's Jim. Students at Forest Park take great interest in ping pong. Last year we had a ping pong tournament. There were two divisions, one for the fifth grade and one for the sixth. Rice Carroll was the sixth grade winner, while Andrew Brick was the fifth grade champ. Ping pong is so big in our school we couldn't hold a tournament this year. That's because so many people are participating in the sport. When we at Forest Park want to see something interesting, all we have to do is go to our library and look in the showcase. There is always something unusual there to see. There, the showcase holds everything from swords to old coins. It is open to anyone who wishes to display something of interest, and it is one of the most popular attractions in our school. Next is Ty with some more stories about Forest Park Elementary. Forest Park has a balloon launch every year. The purpose of this event is to increase reading in our school. For every five book reports, a student gets a balloon with their name and the school's address and phone number. The slip of paper is attached to the balloon and then it is launched. What happens to the balloons? Well, once a man was fishing in the Atlantic Ocean and found the slip of paper from one of our balloons floating in the water. He wrote a letter to the school with a paper. Our class thinks it is really neat to have a balloon launch. Our class likes to travel and this spring we are heading for Chicago by chartered bus. One place we will visit is the Field Museum and Natural History. One, here we will see stuffed animals and early people in their own environment. We will also get to see copies of some of the most famous gems in the world. At the Elder Planetarium we will sit in a large dome building and look at the ceiling. The ceiling will look like the nighttime sky. It gives you the feeling that you are really sitting on, outside under the stars. We are also excited about going to the Museum of Science and Industry. Here we will get to see a captured German submarine and also get to travel down into a repli replica of a coal mine. Our class can't wait to go because it should be an experience to remember. Fort Wayne is lucky to have a professional hockey team in our city. They are the Fort Wayne Comets and they belong to the International Hockey League. News 6 reporter Dina Dunbar talked to one of the Comets, Barry Scully, about his hockey career. How many years have you played hockey? I played about 15 years. I started off in uh, Toronto, Canada. Started off in Pee Wee, then ended, ended up in Bantam, then you go all the way up the ladder to Midget, and then Junior B, then I got drafted to the NHL, the New York Rangers, and I ended up down in Fort Wayne this year. Okay. How did you get interested in playing hockey? Well, actually, I don't think it was me. It was my dad. He liked the hockey, so he got me into it, and I ended up playing it, and I started to like it, and so I kept going at it and I ended up here so it's pretty good. Why do you like hockey? Well I like hockey because I think it's uh, a fun game to play and it's uh, I think the fans like it more than we do because they like watching it but it's when it's hockey's fun when you start scoring goals but if you don't get goals in that or you know have a good game then you start you don't like it too much more. This is Dina Dunbar at News 6. Now back to Pam with more stories about Fort Wayne. One of the traditions in Fort Wayne is the Boar's Head and Mule Log Festival. It is a fun and different way to celebrate the real meaning of Christmas. It begins about two days after Christmas and ends on December 30th. The festival lasts about an hour and a half and the cast includes Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and the Three Kings. Also included in the cast of 200 people is a full orchestra and a bell choir. Last year, five performances were given to an audience of over 2,500 people. It is the only festival of its kind in Indiana, and there's only one like it in Ohio. That is the festival held in Cincinnati. One of the most interesting sites in our city 
is Historic Fort Wayne, a reconstruction of the last frontier army post in the state of Indiana. Historic Fort Wayne was originally built by the soldiers of the United States Army in 1816. It was abandoned after only three years because the frontier had moved west westward and the fort was no longer necessary. If you visit the fort today, you will see it just as it was many years ago. The people you meet inside are dressed in the clothing of that time and will tell you what it, life was like in the 1800s. News 6 reporter Lori McCluskey talked to one of the fort soldiers, Private John Crozier, about historic Fort Wayne. Is life in the fort hard? Well, yes it is. It's a lot harder than it is back in the big cities back east. For instance, in weather like this, each man is only issued one blanket, which necessitates that we sleep two in a bed. And we're also regulated in the month of February to only burn a cord and a half of wood in the men's barracks, which means we can only burn, oh, six to eight sticks a day, which keeps it pretty cold. We only burn the fire when, in the morning when we're getting up. How do you defend yourself? Well. A primary weapon is this bayonet. Which is used for close fighting. And then when I get back a hundred yards or so, I use this flintlock musket. And the way it is fired is we've got a piece of flint here which strikes against this piece of steel here, which will throw sparks down into the pan, which is full of gunpowder. The fire will go into the barrel. The bottom of it is loaded with gunpowder. There's a ball in front of it that ignites the gunpowder and the ball shoots out the end. This is Lori McCluskey for News 6. Thank you for watching News 6. Today's show is brought to you by the sixth grade class of Mr. Don Gruba at Forest Park Elementary in Fort Wayne. Next week, News 6 will feature the sixth grade class of Defiant St. John Elementary. Have a great week.